Nigerians, it's Street Opinion O'Clock. I am here live on the street of Nigeria to ask the Nigerians what they think about the Republic of Odudua. Do they think that it is time for the Yoruba tribe, which is one of the major tribes in Nigeria, to stand as a nation or they still believe in one Nigeria? Join me as I ask people on the street what their opinion is about this. And do not forget to subscribe to Genius Radio TV and don't forget to click on the bell icon to turn on post notifications so as not to miss on this kind of videos where we post more. My name is Bukola Miolani. Do you still believe in one Nigeria or you think the Yoruba tribe should go their separate ways? No, I don't support in going their own way. As a Nigeria, I believe in Odudua, and I believe in one Nigeria that everybody should be together. We don't want separation in this nation. You know, separation can bring war. That's my opinion. Um, the Nigerian Nigerian um, issue was actually dead on arrival. From time immemorial, we have um, a particular region dominating all other regions, and it is not what it should be. We have the north, we have the south, the south now broken into two, the east and west. And each of them can actually stay independently. But if we now have a case where we are shouting one Nigeria and then we have a particular section dominating all other two, it is not fair. So everybody should just go, let's see. If we now have to start acting as um, international allies, I think that would suffice. A lot of people are saying that if each tribe decides to go their separate way, that there's going to be a lot of war. What do you have to say concerning that? Well, we know that Nigeria is such a balkanized society where you have um, so many tribes. Okay, in the West now you have the Jebus, you have the Egbas, you have the, um, the Ondo people um, and all of that. But then if we, are, if, we have to, if we have to stay together, it has to be a calculated attempt. But if we have to go our separate ways, of course, we would not say the Jebus should now go and form a country. What is their land mass or what is their size? We cannot say the Awaris should go and form their country. What is their size? Of course, now we know we have a whole lot of nations. Like the Jews will tell you they are a nation. The Egbas or Dudua will tell you they are a nation. So, yes, let us go our separate ways. But in such, in such a way that we can still have tribes lumping up together. The Edo's, of course, can join the South-South. If we now have to stay together, let us negotiate it such that we will now say, okay, we want to go the way of regionalism. And I think that would even suffice, rather than say we should all go our separate ways. But if it has to come to that, let it be. Well, if the presidency still decides to keep silent, about all the ravages going on, all the killings. I think the Yoruba should go their separate way. I'm a Yoruba lady in my town. A lot has been going up. We've seen a lot within your know, state and from your state, and it's so so worse. Something you can never imagine that could happen. You go into people's farmland, you rape them, and why are you coming? They use open arms to accept you, not fighting you. But you go into their farmlands, you destroy their products, then you kill them, you rape their wives, children, and it's so so happening. Right, a lot of people are saying that if Yoruba decides to go their separate way, that there's going to be war. Even the Biafrans too. That if Nigeria decides to break out. The French tribe decides to break out that there's going to be war. What do you think about that? Well, has there not been war ever since we've been together? Yes, there will be fights. Even if Yoruba decides to go their separate way, there are different um, tribes, dialects within the Yorubas. That one we want to say, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this. But it won't be as terrible as what is going on right now because it only feels like it's only one tribe that is holding the. Um, the, the nation and not giving any other tribe. No, I don't believe in, in separation. When there's a dispute that should be uh, uh, a settlement, uh, the problem we are facing is in the hands of our, of our politicians. They, they are now playing their role very well. They are giving room to one uh, section of the country to dominate. And those people, that domination has uh, uh, overcrowned their mentality that they, they would be able to dominate forever. 
Uh, I wish this type of agitation had come up earlier. During the era of, of civil war, uh, the Nigerian civil war in the 60s to uh, early 70s, if they have come together to fight for civil suppression, that would be better. Since the reconciliation was done at that time, all the wounds of that time are, are meant to have been healed. We don't think there is any need for any Because any suppression now will lead to a, another civil war. We will make the masses to suffer. We will make the masses to suffer. The situation will be too much. I know Nigeria is a very populated country. Where shall we run to? Uh, all the nearest countries that are not as populated as that, they will not be able to accommodate us. What I feel should be done is that uh, we should reconcile, come out so successfully, tell those who are dominating that you are dominating, your, your type of uh, uh, pol political in the country is wrong, uh, it should be spread out for us, for us to be able to move forward, you know, collectively, so that uh, peace will reign. Uh, employment will be spread. Not that uh, you see all the uh, government parasites, they are dominated by the Hausa and the Muslims. So if there's a spread, uh, a uniform spread, where every section will be will equally be represented, uh -huh. there no, no party will be grudging. So uh, the issue of uh, being marginalized by anybody will, will not be there. Stop molesting Yoruba people. If they wish to go, let them go. So that's why we are having these elderly people at our head. They must have planned and see what sweet that is suitable for Yoruba people before they say they are going. So if they say we are going, we cannot suffer. Uh, but sir, people, people have been saying that if the Yoruba people want to go their own way, and even other tribes too, that there is going to be a very big war. What do you think about that? Well, we are in, in case of war, we thank God that uh, we have experienced before, that is Biafra. But if uh, individual tribes wish to leave, I don't think there will be war. We individuals are going uh, peacefully, without any war, without killing ourselves. Yes, that's my whole vision. All right. So yeah. you support the other two as the Highly supported. Mm. Thank you so much. Represent supported. So we are not praying that Nigeria should divide. If we divide in, in a hundred years to come, we will not still be able to get that progress. But when we are able, when we unite together, it is then we can make progress. So all we are asking for is that our leaders, they should be faithful. They should come out. They have been deceiving us for long, but they should come out and be faithful, so that all the embezzlement, all the fraud, all, all those problems, if it can come to an end, then Nigeria will make progress. So. All we are praying for is that every one of us should go on our knees and pray for peace and progress in Nigeria. All right, so what do you think should, move it, should be the solution to the Fulani headsman killing and a lot of unrest in the country? Now, they, they have leaders. Their leaders should be called to orders. When their leaders are called to orders, then all these problems, because most of all these people causing problems, most of them are illiterates. They don't even understand. Only they hear that go and they go. But if their, their leaders can be called to orders, then, then they are being educated, then there will be peace and everything will come to an end. There won't be all this uh, uh, killing of people, shedding into innocent blood, destruction of lives and property. Everything will come to, to an halt. Uh, I support like uh, Yoruba tribe to go their separate way. Eastern people will go their own separate way because no, uh, one Nigeria is no more working. A lot of things is happening now. It's like uh, there's no idea, so we have to try that separation and know whether it will be better. There's a lot of killing, insecurity, hunger, hardship and everything. No job, no business, yes. Yeah, I support one Nigeria and the Republic. <laughs> I you have to people. choose one, sir. Because we have to be realistic. If we are to just go separate ways, it will be detrimental. Because in Aritotu's world, no one is an isolation. We have to work in hand, hand in hand. So standing alone will even be detrimental because we always need each other as help sometimes. So you support one Nigeria, right? Yeah, I support one Nigeria. But what do you think about these things? Everybody is affected with the Fulani headsman killing and a lot of things, a lot of unfair things going on in the country now. So what do you think will make us stay together peacefully? You know, Valencia Ika said something about bad hex. I have also friends and I don't behave criminally like that. So we just have to fish out the bad hex and leave the good ones. Because if you're talking about going separate ways, we also have houses that are living in the north. We have, we have Yoruba that stay in the north too. We just say they should also come 
down to the west here. So it have to be we have to be considerate of everything before we take our actions, so that it won't affect the people that you know that are related to us. I I think it's time for Yoruba to go their separate ways because um, there is no one Nigeria really. If you look at um, the situation of the country now, you will know that it is time for Yoruba to take their stand. It's just that uh, the Yorubas have uh, they, they have slept and they, they betrayed themselves for so long. I went to Apapa on Saturday and Sunday. You, if you go there, you will know that the Yoruba has been a slave to some people, and it's time for them to wake up to take the bull by the horn. So I believe Yoruba should go now. It's now and now. All right. Do you think it's possible? Do you think it will be a successful war? Yes, it's possible. If we want to, if we want to go, even tomorrow we can. He just wants to say no. We stay in our borders and everything will just go fine without war, without fighting. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I believe in more Nigeria, but um, it depends on our, our leaders. If our leaders can put things in place, if they can provide all that is needed for the citizens, people like um, the, the Namdi Kanu and um, 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 what's his name in your state, we not come up Sunday, but yes, we not come up with the idea of um, you to do a nation. So for us to say together, the government has to has to do what they need to do for the nation. For us to say together, we need to put everything. All the all, all, all the people that are involved, the stakeholders, needs to come together for to to make Nigeria to stand at once. But the way we are going now, the way we are now, there is no way Nigeria can stand because the government are not putting things in place for us. And the citizens do no, do no longer believe in the government. So that, that, that brought about the idea of um, Sunday Boo and the other stakeholders who are putting things together to say that, yes, if we cannot stay together as one, then let's, let's split, you understand? So that is what is bringing about Sunday Boo and other people who are bringing, bringing the ideas of um, people, Nigerian splitting. Alright, so you believe in one Nigeria, you believe if the, if the problems are being solved, you believe you can still coexist together in peace. Right? Very well, very well. If the government can put everything that is needed for us as a nation together, we can stand. We need a nation like Yoruba race, a republic. Yes, we need it. For now, we need various components of, uh, of countries, nations under Nigeria now. Because uh, the amalgamation of Nigeria in 1914 was not a good one. Okay. And now, because various tribes were brought together, and with that, we can see that it never can work again. Because one of the major things is that we are of the same, different culture. We are of different race, and we, are, we have different tra uh, traditions and religion inclusive. Now, the North is predominantly Muslim, while the South is Christian. So now, and because of this religion and some other culture, we, we cannot live together again. So as far as I'm concerned, Oduduwa Republic is paramount. We want it, we want other nations, we want other nations in the South-South, we, we want other nations like what is happening in the Southeast. Do you think that all these countries and all these nations can break out without war, sir? Uh, yes, but because it has started before, the Biafra started it, but it, they never succeeded because of uh, this, the way they, they went about it. But now, we can, this nation can break off without any war. If the United Nations agree, if they say yes, what we are going through now is, is more than for us to, it's more than war. What Nigeria is going through now is more than war. It's more than war. So what are you talking about? So everybody should go their separate way. The problem of Nigeria is not a, a regional problem. The problem of Nigeria is um, um, a leadership problem, basically, a constitutional problem. And um, we are fond of putting um, square pegs in round holes. 
Now, we don't have appropriate people in appropriate places. And again, we have institutionalized corruption. It has become an everyday norm. So whether Odijua Nation, Bafra, Arewa, it's just nomenclature. The truth of the matter is that we have a fundamental problem in Nigeria. Now, the fundamental, if you say Odijua Nation, Bafra, now the problem still exists. Now it is now the will, the willpower to solve the issue that we actually need. Not a uh, separation per se. Now we could go at separate ways, separate ways and be fine. But yes, we still try. What we need to address is the root cause and not the nomenclature and name calling. Now I believe Nigeria can still work. Of course, we have our issues. We need to deal with the issues and not run away from them. Because if you say the nation, we're trying to run away from a problem. Yes, At the end of the day, we find ourselves in one. Now, why not solve the problem first? Then if you see that, now, um, the best way is for us to part with. Then we cannot start talking of parting with. Right, hello, sir. Yep. How are you? I'm very well, sir. So what do you think about the old to one nation? Do you think that the Yoruba should go their separate way? Or you still believe in one Nigeria, sir? Oh, well, first of all, why are they asking for sensation? There must be a reason for that. If the issue is addressed and they feel that it's okay, I think they will, they would like to stay in Nigeria. But what is happening is what is driving them to do so. We have been in existence for a long time. And uh, since then, there have been one problem or the other. Uh -huh. And uh, if, the, if things happen and it's addressed, uh -huh. You know that there are, there are people that are concerned. But if it's, uh, it continues to happen, you are not having any resolution, nothing is coming up. The people, everybody do things the, the way they like. And it's like some people are, are irrelevant. You don't listen to them. Now, how do you expect them to relax and continue to remain under that, uh, such condition? So if issues are addressed very well and we start to see the impact, uh -huh. it's true, uh, we, we have to come down and see how we can blend together. It's a matter of choice. So everybody knows how he wants to live his life. But if you look at the situation of the country now, so people are so lamenting what is happening. So nobody is pleased with the situation we are now. So but if they want to go, they can go in peace. You see like the Biafra also, they want to go. The Niger Delta, so they, also, they want to restructure them. But if they can restructure what we can see how be in one united Nigeria, but let every 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 state have its own republic. We can have uh, Odudua Republic, Biafra Republic, and Niger Delta Republic, Midori uh, Bay Republic, and uh, Ariwa Republic. So that is one Nigeria also. We can reunite our Nigeria. We can restructure, but everybody can have his own side so that we can have a better. Nigeria. Okay, you mean that everybody should add their own country then? There will be no more Nigeria anymore once they all add their own country separately. No, they even say want to restructure Nigeria. So there will be a republic of can still be in Nigeria, United of Nigeria. But different regions, different regions, different regions. So like Odudua regions, Niger Delta regions, Biafra regions, and uh, Ariwa regi regions. Uh, actually, I believe in one Nigeria because when we go separate, it's going to affect our children and it's going to affect a lot of business, you know, like the people that they invest, you know, like the, I mean, the business builder, all these are big men, you know, it's going to affect their business. So I think I believe in one Nigeria. So that's my, that's my opinion. So, but believing in one Nigeria now, what do you think should be the solution to all the problems, the agitations of the people, to what people have been complaining about that brought about different tribes wanting to go their separate ways, sir? Uh, all I think can solve it is that maybe we should, you know, have a meeting with their leaders. You know, what's what's causing problems? Like, although yesterday, like when I was going home, I watched the same uh, video of uh, the detail for. Sunday ago, so where they were killing our people, where they were killing our Yoruba. Although it's not, it's not good because when you have a flesh and blood, where they are killing your brother, you want to attack it. Say you understand? And sometimes, if if uh, things want to get right, you want to maybe like you want to get some things done. 
you know, they have to be what just like the Bible. Show you understand. Some people have to go for it. Some people have to show you understand. Yeah, I didn't believe in you know Yoruba going separate or I would say Igbo. What I think is that, but I can't say it here. Show you understand. Because this, um, I know this is a media, right? And it's all the TV. So there's something you can't even say. Show you understand. So that they will be chasing me up and down. Yeah, yes, sir. But like this now, you're not free. You don't want to talk. You know, the, it's all because of this problem. People are afraid to hear their opinions. Okay, me... So, what do you think should be the solution? What do you think? Having meetings, if the problems are being solved, do you think we can still stay peacefully? Um, if if um they have the meeting and the problem is not being solved, I know it's going to affect some tribe. It won't affect some prayer. Like the Yoruba, it won't affect us. See, you understand? But the issue is that we still have a problem on this oil. See, you understand? You know, some some states, some parts, they don't have oil. See, you understand? So, who, who is going to be handed? Because every one of us, we are our eyes in store the oil. Like mine, myself, I've done oil business. See, you understand? Some years ago. So, and if you have tasted the oil business, you want, I, I will go and leave this for those, uh, so you understand. So that's, there's something that will be a problem also. So that when we depart, so the party is not good. All right, there you have it, guys. We've all heard what Nigerians have to say about the Republic of Odudua. Some said that they support the Republic of Odudua, that they should, that it is time for Yoruba try to break out. And some people say that they still support one Nigeria if the problems can be solved. All right now, so we are passing the mic to the people at home. Tell us what you think about the Republic of Ojidua. Drop your comments in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to Genius Radio TV. And do not forget to click on the bell button to get notifications when we post more videos like this. Thank you.